Bar Rat. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Thessia. The Asari should have jumped in earlier. Commander, Cerberus has attacked a con facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. In any event, good luck. If we don't finish that crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? In case you hadn't noticed, we just lost a few million people. This isn't the time. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on, Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like, more than Torfan, where you put your whole damn squad through a meat grinder. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the Resistance on Earth is worried about you, and I'm supposed to help. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. I couldn't leave the best pile in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We got work to do. Commander? Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. This wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Thanks, Shepard. I'm sorry, Shepard. You all right? I'm fine, Liara. I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. I wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong... Then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... 
before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing the world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Tessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made sure that... A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. Dr. Tassoni is visiting the Prothean in his quarters, Commander. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I... Hey! Settle down. My home was just destroyed. And all he can do is gloat! Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? For not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen, but as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara Tassoni. was unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara means a great deal to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. It was good to see another of my kind, even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel stock exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. I've never really been unlucky. Commander. Not bad. I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan... I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs time. Maybe call her later. She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. How bad? I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. I'll go talk to Liara. Good. When she went by, she just really needs you right now. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. 
It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. And I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. You'd never do that. They're dying by the millions! I told those people on Thessia we'd save them! How many Asari died because I demanded their help? None. Shepard, that isn't true. You've been warning your people for four years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this. To start again. We lost Thessia. But we haven't lost the Asari yet. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. I need some time, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. Hopefully she's doing better now. Thanks for talking to her. Neither of us knew what to say. There's not much we can say. But being there helps. I guess we know what Liara's going through. You checked on Liara. She must be devastated. That's not something you ever forget. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey. Everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Signal confirmed. I 
found something. something. Signal confirmed. something. Asian successful. All right, we're about to land on Onteram in the Newton system of the Kepler Verge. Now, here's an interesting little tidbit before I get into why we're going in there now. We've actually been to Onteram before. You may remember back in Mass Effect 1 that there was a little bit where Alliance scientists were going missing and um, Admiral Hackett asked us to look into it, and we looked into it and we found uh, the, the one scientist being uh, held at gunpoint by Corporal Toombs, and Corporal Toombs was claiming that they'd put like thresher maw acid in his veins to see what had happened, and we later found out that those scientists were in fact affiliated with Cerberus and so on and so forth. That was Onteram. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're returning back to Onteram. Uh, now, why are we going there this time? Well, you may remember that um, Samantha Trainer. Uh, told us one time while we were in the CIC on the Normandy that uh, Cerberus was attacking an Alliance communication uh, array on Onteram and that we should go defend it and fight back Cerberus. So that's why we're here. Let's get to it. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes, patching her through. Miss Sato, what's happening down there? 
Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Just upload the next set of coordinates. Right. Yes, command. 